From the Opopco Studios in Oklahoma City, this is a sports update. I'm Jenny Carlson. Ty Hensley, a New York Yankees prospect from Edmond, has been injured in an assault, and Jacob Unruh joins us on the phone to give us more details. Jacob, this was an incident that happened a, a while ago, December 28th, according to police reports. What's the latest in this case? Uh, well, just within the last hour, the uh, charges have been filed by the uh, district attorney for aggravated assault and battery against uh, Anthony Morales, who uh, played it played football at Evan Memorial, Weber State, and, and most recently uh, a very short stint with the Panthers. Uh, it's a felony charge, uh, so it's uh, going to be interesting to see where this exactly goes court-wise. Uh, the attorneys for uh, Ty Hensley was saying earlier that he uh, was not very cooperative with the police investigations at this point, but um, it's a very ugly incident that uh, has led to these kind of charges against uh, another notable athlete. Well, you mentioned the ugliness of the of the charges, and uh, this was a situation that ended up breaking Ty Hensley's jaw, as you found out, uh, required surgery. Reports out there that he had multiple surgeries, uh, two or more, untrue. You found out, Jacob, it was one surgery, but still uh, a surgery on a broken jaw, nevertheless uh, bad enough. Uh, you talk about the ugliness of what we know. What do we know at this point about what happened? Well, according to the police report, which had all the names redacted, there was an un unidentified female. Um, they were at their house. It was uh, about 2.30 in the morning on December 28th. Um, they'd been out uh, at Edna's, a uh, local uh, local bar, and, and I think she said she was in another room and heard some, some talking between them and it turned into arguing over sports and uh, bonuses is what the report said. And then she heard furniture being crashed around and she came out to find Morales above Hensley uh, kicking him and hitting him and uh, she called the cops and, and it, it went from there and, and Ty ended up in the hospital for multiple days and had to have surgery of a broken jaw and, and uh, has had several lacerations, stitches, uh, bruising, uh, things like that. Um, but he's expected to make a full recovery from what I understand. Yeah, and as you said, uh, surgery was required, but he is out of the hospital at this point recovering. But, Jacob, I think for a lot of people, uh, now the question is, uh, what comes next? Obviously, some recovery time, but Ty Hensley drafted the 30th overall pick in the 2012 Major League Baseball draft, obviously taken very high, taken by the Yankees, a, a, a proud and obviously powerful organization that – doesn't tend to draft people that high that they don't think can play for their organization. He's had struggles, though. Where does this fit in, and how is this going to impact him potentially? Well, he, he's had a hard time staying on the field, and this this couldn't come at a worse time for him. You know, he he, he only pitched uh, very limited bases after being drafted. I think because I was reading that he had they detected something wrong in his shoulder right after he was drafted, and, um, and then he didn't pit, pitch for almost the better part of two years until last season because he had multiple injuries, had to have surgeries, different things just kept him from getting back on the mound in the game. And he returned last season. It was actually really excellent according to you know stats. He, he started 10 games, had a below 3 ERA, had a bunch of strikeouts, looked like he was going to be right back on track. He was going across rookie league ball, uh, low, low A. He was, he was back on track, it looked like. And so now he's going to have to miss some early time. And it'll be interesting to see how much the Yankees stick with him and and, and allow him to recover, and, and how long it's going to take him to recover. Unbelievably, pitchers and catchers reporting is not that far away. You've got to think that Ty Hensley might miss that, but obviously we'll continue to follow this story and see uh, how his recovery and how the court system progresses as this case goes on. Be sure to stay with the best coverage team anywhere at NewsOK.com and every day in the Oklahoman.